Low rim? Baby rim? Yeah. Today I'm going to talk about how and why, and yes, you should low rim every single time you get a chance to, and every program you've ever been in, you need it. And how does it apply to your life? Oh, you got to find out, baby. Imagine remembering everything you once forgot. Yo! What is good? I slept with my head and I had dreams and they were great. Did I have dreams that I was in New York, but there was mountains and there was a crystal blue lake and it was the most beautiful thing and I was on a weird trolley that I had to take my phone out to record it, but I was very scared of dropping my phone. That was my dream. Yes. And um, it was a good sleep. And hit the notification bell if you want that exact dream, because I found this new technology through YouTube where you hit the bell and it infuses my dreams into yours. So you will have that dream tonight. And the funny thing about that is that was a total joke. But now that I said that and described it and you're thinking that that might happen, it might happen. <laughs> so that would be insane if that really happened. What's good? Yo, dunk tip of the day coming at the end. We got a special guest appearance. Not on the guest appearance, but it's more just me just stealing content. You'll see what I mean. It's my boy. But stay tuned for the dunk tip of the day and stay tuned for the life tip of the day because I'm adding more things. Do I stick to the same thing every day and never change it? No, I'm constantly changing. I can't stick to structure. But what I am giving you is how to dunk on life, baby. And today's low rim, why you should low rim and... I love this because I think it's overlooked and more valuable, even in my, my own training, it's more valuable than I put value on it. So I'm going to try to do it more. Maybe I'll try to do it once a week at least. Um, but I don't have my own low rim. I guess I do over here, but it's too low. Okay. So first things first is how to low rim. And, um, yes, my best tip for how to low rim is get a rim. There's different types of low rimming, by the way. One is the way you've seen Isaiah do it. If you've seen his stories is the rim is basically wrist level. So you're always reaching and dunking uh, and finishing how you would finish a real rim. But you're reaching up because if it's like head level, like my rim that I have near my apartment is like head level, literally. So my arms always bent. It's not the best to learn the technique or you could make it like eight, nine feet so you can jump a little bit with it. The point is, is that you're practicing and what should you focus on? I say focus on hand speed hand speed and focus on dunking hard and dunking clean and getting the timing down. If you're like everything you do, you work backwards too. If you, if you're trying to go really fast and you're missing the dunk, just go slow and and then slowly work up the hand speed. But most importantly, finish on time and finish hard and finish. um, So you can build that muscle memory, which is tip two. So tip one is it's great for hand speed. It helps you get quicker. It helps your technique and that helps you do the tricks, obviously. Muscle memory. The thing about that is that now it becomes second nature. So when you're jumping on a higher rim, you can do the trick without thinking about it and you can finish it. And those, a lot of tricks are a lot of just hand speed and hand work, like meaning like you have to have the technique to do it. And it's really hard to do that on while you're jumping in the air. Cause there's so many other factors when it comes to jumping, the timing, the effort, the angle, all those different things. But on a low rim, you could simply focus on the hand speed and the technique and build that muscle memory. So that way, when you go to that low rim or you go to the regular rim, it's, it's ingrained in you. You're carving those pathways. And speaking of carved pathways in your goddamn cerebellum is the visualization aspect of it. When you complete the dunk, say you're doing a behind the back practice on the room, when you do it behind your back and you do it fast and you finish it, your body now understands what it's like to finish that dunk. So when you're in the air for a real dunk, you can do it. You've heard the saying, open the floodgates. I'm a huge believer in your mind over everything. Your, everything starts in your mind. If you can believe you can do it, you can do it. So the low rim helps you believe because you've literally done it. Even though it's a low rim, you have the motion and it's easier to visualize. Hint, hint, that's what the what might be at the end of the video or a little part of it. You might be able to visualize yourself hitting it on a 10 foot rim, right? So if you're trying to visualize it, I can believe I can do it. Um, you can do it. So for example, like a windmill, I believe that the reason I was able to hit a windmill was because I truly believed I could hit it. If there was any type of doubt, hence my two hand dribble dunk, it made it really tough to do to get myself to believe. I was always like, I should be able to, I should be able to, instead of I can. And why I think that's important is another whole video. But basically, um, you're, you're focusing on that you can't do it instead of that you can. And then sometimes when you're trying a trick, you get close and then you believe you can do it and then you get super close and you, you slowly believe, but you're almost like thinking, I think I can. And you're, you're 
your ratio of belief to doubt is higher and you and you're able to believe but then once you hit it a lot of times you open the floodgates and you can hit it all the time because now you believe you can do it and it's not about can or can't it's about will i make this one you know what i mean so uh low rim helps with that a lot um and then lastly it's fun this is three things in one it's fun it's a great warm-up and it's a great way to stay in shape so it's a great workout when you're just trying to like keep your elasticity going. If you do it, if you don't have a chance to go to a full rim, you could t- kind of do like light jumps, keep it a light day. Um, so you're not jumping as max, max, max. It's also just so much fun to practice new things, try creative things, see what you enjoy about dunking and just have fun with it. Because whenever you're the best part about dunking is being able to get way up and destroy it. So anybody can do that on a low rim. So it's, it's just fun. So have fun with it. I did it yesterday, vlog coming soon with CJ and it was just outside in the sun and I got super loose and it felt great. And I also learned how bad I am at dribble dunks, which I already knew, but I got to practice it. And it's great to get that feel and understand, like work all the way backwards. Cause instead of just trying to go to a full rim and work on my dribble dunks, I go to a rim I can do it on so I can, I can carve the, the good habits. And that's what I love about low rim low rimming so every program you're ever on i think you should add some low rim no matter what you can do it's a great way to kind of keep your sane that me as well mentally sane that you're working on something even on like a rest day so you can just like work on behind the back technique just finishing just thinking about it whatever it is it's something to work on at any time so get yourself a low rim and get freaking banging um and the dunk tip of the day is my boy chi yes sir chi ready for this this is Chi on Instagram. All right, ready for this? He's getting super hype. Right before he tries to dunk, all he's doing is getting crazy hype. Get up, boy. Let's go. Okay, so what I love about that is he just went... He... He visualized himself achieving it, got super hype, and then attacked his his uh, thing. He also said on the video, he said, life dunk tip, life slash dunk tip. Switch that around to dunk life, why not? Visualize yourself, visualize yourself achieving what you want to do and do it. Prepare yourself mentally for success. So my boy Chi gets super hype before he dunks it, takes off, lands a dunk, gets super hype. And I think that's so important in any goal you're achieving, especially in dunking that requires so much adrenaline. You have to believe it. You have to get hype. You got to get excited for it. So that way you're firing in all cylinders and that way you can achieve what you're trying to do. Cause if not, if you're, if you're the other way around, you're definitely working against yourself. So use that in any goal you're about to do. If you're about to do anything, believe it, feel it, go for it and get hype. You got to get hype. And the dunk tip of the day is get freaking hype. And the life tip is here a little bit of the opposite, but I think you should read every single day, even if it's just one page a day, the books, the people that have written books, the world renowned authors, all the different crazy historical data that is in books is invaluable. And if you read one page a day by in a couple months, you'll read a whole book. And the accomplishment you feel from reading is to me is really great. And the other thing about it is a great routine for me before bed, because even if I read one page, usually it leads to a couple pages. But the thing is I'm off my phone and I'm looking at a white pages instead of a blue screen, which is just a great routine. And it also helps you stop thinking, helps me stop thinking because if I just lay there before I'm, I start thinking of like things I can do, I don't really turn off the day's activities, but by reading and learning about something else, it switches my brain a little bit. And yes, I still have anxiety. Yes, my mind still races and I still want to produce ideas, but the reading helps a little bit, but I also like the routine of it and just the information in general. If you want my tips on my books, I actually have books on my website that I recommend. Um, and yeah, just find something that you want to improve in your life. Like for me, sometimes it's mindfulness or self-discovery Sometimes it's nutrition, but just learn from people that have written books and look up, we have Google and research what book is great and the different philosophers and different things like Carl Jung is ridiculous. So it's just so much to learn. And the fact that people have taken the, taken the time to write these books is shows you how impactful it was in their lives that they had to share it. So just keep learning. I think it's just a great tip and that's it. And that's have a great day. And I think that's it for today. Stay tuned for dunks my dunk vlog from the outdoor session and hopefully dunking today. We'll see how it goes. And also lastly, if you want to work with me, I have dunk programs. My speed phase sale ends today and learn more on my website. And if you want to work directly with me, I have custom training and which is just dunk training and then also energy coaching for all of your life. Let's go.
we're, we're freaking increasing the energy and our frequencies are going higher and we're living like we don't even know what's happening and the black holes are coming and we're going to get engulfed and I'm going to do stand up on Monday again hopefully it goes a little bit better I was having fun last night practicing and I'm ready to eat shit again let's eat shit okay have a good day toodle <laughs> Now I'll be thinking existential, I got limitless potential. Now-